Hey everybody, kind of a, a crazy, interesting video to share with you today. Uh, last fall, we took about a week long trip to the mountains of, of Colorado. We shot in the Maroon Bells and uh, down uh, near Telluride and it's about a week and we were on our last day. We were gonna head home. Uh, we were gonna, you know, get sleep one more night and then head home the next morning. And we were in a coffee shop in Montrose and uh, I had the idea that we should go on one last hurrah. And <laughs> so I just Google mapped how long it would take to go to Arches National Park from Montrose, which actually turned out to be um, about three hours. And so we went to Arches National Park for sunset and then we did sunrise at the Maroon Bells the, uh, the next morning. Uh, there wasn't a lot of sleeping. There was, um, it was a lot of fun. It was very interesting. We got some uh, really interesting shots and it was just kind of a very, uh, almost a uh, surreal experience. Hey y'all, so we just decided that we're gonna go to uh, Delicate Arch in Arches National Park to try to do Sunset and Astro. We'll keep you updated, but this is gonna be legit, hopefully. What's up y'all? We just made it to freaking Arches. I don't know how that happened. I'm having some nostalgia from like two years ago when uh, we came here and shot. Oh, that's, I was using my old like Sony F4. Uh, I had the Sony 24 to 70 F4 Zeiss lens and then the 70 to 200 F4 that got stolen like a year ago. Almost exactly a year ago. I'm gonna do some sunset at Double Arch and then hopefully get some Astro at uh, Delicate Arch, so. And then we're gonna go all the way, I guess we're gonna go <laughs> all Not the I way guess. to we got no choice. the Maroon Bells. Well, we gotta be home by like noon tomorrow. <laughs> yep, it's so, easy. easy peasy, ample squeezy. So yeah, so we're gonna end up going, we're gonna, we're gonna drive all the way there in the, in the dark, but it'll actually probably not be that bad, probably. I kind of like driving in the dark. I'll probably drive that part in the dark. Not all of it, but some of it. I'm also very behind with reading for my classes, so that's not fun. <laughs> Giving away uh, info that everyone does not need. If any of my teachers are watching this, I apologize. So we just made it to Double Arch for sunset. This is so weird. I woke up in Tiger and smoothing and I know that they're technically not that far apart. HDR panorama at 20 millimeters up there. So it might be sick. It might be. <laughs> did you handhold it or did you no, try it? Out. Oh. Okay. Hopefully it's. You know? But 20 mil should be. And then I did some just heavy HDR stuff too. Oh, it was really cool on the horizon, wasn't it?
right, so we just finished up shooting Sunset at Double Arch. Now we're gonna head up to Delicate Arch to shoot some Astro. We're heading to the Maroon Belt. HDR freaking days. <laughs> I was shooting nine shot HDRs there for a second. It was intense. I did. Hopefully that's good. I think it's gonna have to be a pretty dark uh, overall body for the for the rock. So beyond that, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> but it's so orange over there, like unrealistic. How do you feel this trip's gone? <laughs> it's been a freaking up and down roller coaster type thing where I've been to two states, woke up at 4 a.m. on the plane ride over here, got in, got picked up directly, we went right to the Bells, shot. Oh wait, we went to, In was it Independence Pass first? Independence Pass, then Sunrise at the Bells. Slept in the car three days so far out of the thing. One day of no sleep. Uh, it's been insane. I got some a sick sunrise from the bells for sure. Probably like, the best sunrise I think we've ever gotten. Um, I, I think that's arguable, but it was a pretty intense sunrise. It's, I haven't had a ton of luck with sunrises. Sunsets seem to be better, which is kind of rare, I think, for most people. But yeah, it's got not most people's experience. But I guess it's been Brandon's. Yeah, so that's weird. Um, three or four, well, will be four nights of Astro. So that's kind of a Yeah, lot. there's been like no clouds so often this trip. And we like, might get like that. The clouds over there are a rare sight this trip. Yep, that's like the most clouds we've seen since, what, Friday or something? <laughs> Yikes. So we just made it up to Delicate Arch. You can see it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's over there. Here, do you guys need a little bit more? This thing is chunky bright. Alright, go ahead and kill it. Whoa. Oh my gosh. The moon is casting a shadow. That's intense. see that right now, but we had to take photos to be like, wow! That's intense, dudes. Alright, I'm gonna try and grab a, a shot as well. Um, so, we just finished up shooting a solo. Well, obviously there's three of us, but there's nobody else here. No one else. No one else here. Delicate arch in Milky Way season, even though there's the moon. It's because of the moon. I mean, it has to be. People are like, oh, blah, blah. Oh. So, there it is. It is right there. Can you see it? I'm gonna go give it a little pet. Oh, man. Look at this boy. I'm gonna give it a kiss, ready? I just kissed Delicate Arch delicately. I don't feel like that's the actual arch. Do I have to kiss this other part? Yeah, I feel like All that's right. the way that that works. I'll do it very delicately too. Okay, is this, are we counting this as the arch? Yes, that is the arch for All sure. Right. I just kissed Delicate Arch delicately. Do you want to go all the way under it just because we're here? Oh, sure. Ah! So there's actually a very notable cliff right there. Yeah, I could die. There's a decent one right here. I've made too many puns, I'm kind of worried Toby's gonna try to push me off. But it's surreal. This is nuts, the moon's over there. Thought it was gonna wreck the trip, but it might have given us the most unique shots of Delicate Arch. I've never actually seen a shot. So the shots we got, um, you can still see the galaxy slightly in the background. So the moon is backlighting Delicate Arch from where we were shooting, but you can still see in the very like upper part of my frame at least, and I think Toby and Kemper have the same um, photo in a sense, where you can see in the upper part of it, like the galaxy. There's a mouse. 
There's a mouse on delicate arch. God, you're like a dog. Squirrel! 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 squirrel. Toby. <laughs> Alright, we're ending the vlog. <laughs> no, we still gotta go to the Maroon Bells. Oh yeah. We're not done yet. So hey, we're out here at uh, the Maroon Bells. It's um, somewhere in between five and seven hours after we just shot Sunset and Astro at Arches. Um, so if we're able to pull off another good shot here, I'm gonna be pretty freaking ecstatic. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I feel like there's a rule against getting too many good shots in a day, so. Yeah. We'll see if we, we'll see if we came here to break the rules. Not like actually break the rules. We'll respect the boundaries of everything, but the, the how many good photos in a day you can get rule. Also in each state. <laughs> All right. Where are the bells? Did they ring a bell? We were here a week ago. How about that sunrise though? A little disappointing. Also pretty cool at the same time. I have mixed feelings. <laughs> really? I thought it was banger. It's good. But there is like so much potential for it to just go off. We actually were at Delicate Arch completely by ourselves for over an hour, which that's one of the more surreal experiences I've ever had. Like being at a place, like if you've ever been there, it's always super busy. And just for some reason we hit it where no one else was there, even to shoot Astro or anything. It was just quiet. And uh, I may never, we may never experience that again. So uh, that's always gonna be nice. And then driving to the Maroon Bells, for sunrise the next morning. So um, a crazy experience um, and uh, hopefully a very enjoyable video for you guys. Thanks. All right, we're ending the vlog. Yeah.